Rodeo, and I'm a salivating surfer. I want to share my love of food with you. I've been surfing all day and I'm really hungry, so let's go grab dinner. Eat. Just because I'm a surfer girl doesn't mean that I only eat tacos and drink beer. Sometimes I like to go out and get some fine dining, get dolled up. So tonight we're gonna go and check out Juliet. It's a restaurant in Port Beach and the reviews look great, so we're gonna go test it out. The restaurant is located in an unassuming strip mall, but once you walk in, you know you've come to a special place. Juliet is filled with happy patrons, drinking wine, laughing, and enjoying life. Okay, so we just got finished eating dinner at Juliet, and it was amazing. It was so, so, so good. And the thing was, is that it was so intimate and so beautiful in there that it felt really weird to be filming my food. I want to come out here and tell you the breakdown. Juliet has a wine shop. So when I got the drink menu, I knew that pretty much any wine on the list would be a good choice. The cocktails were really intriguing, though. One involved hot peppers and strawberries. But in the name of fine dining, I opted for a nice Pinot Noir, and I was really happy with my choice. Now it was time to choose an appetizer. They all looked great, but I wasn't sure which one to get. So we asked the waitress, what should we get? She said, the duck milky, which I cannot say. I want to say nochi, genochi, it's noki. It's very rich, very, very good. It was pretty much one of the best duck confits I've ever had. It's so good. Noki is like if a ravioli and a pierogi made a baby. They're like little dumplings, and in this case, were filled with a rich, creamy cheese. Tossed into this masterpiece were pieces of perfectly cooked duck confit. The pesto sauce was heavier than most pestos I've tried, a quality that I really enjoyed. I could have left after this course and been a happy camper. Then we went on to the main entree and I had the fish stew and it was insane. It was like a mermaid feast. <laughs> My prawn shrimp were like this big and there were big chunks of fish and the flavors, they... I can't describe it. It was different than any other fish stew I've ever had. It's probably my second favorite in the entire world. I think La Jolla Shores Hotel has the very, very best fish stew. This one was a very close second. It was really, really, really good. So dessert. I got the pot de creme, and what that is is pretty much pudding for grown-ups. Um, on top is a layer of creme fraiche, and then there's a rich, decadent pudding underneath. And this one was a salted caramel pot de creme with a little like butterscotch, like peanut brittle thing on top of it. Really tasty, there's little chocolate cookies you can dip in. Um, overall, I would say this restaurant experience was in my top five list, ever. It's very good. I would almost drive up to Newport just to go back here again. So I'm gonna give this experience five noms. Five very sophisticated noms. Nom, nom, nom. No, no. Yes. <laughs> really what it comes down to is that if you're ever near this restaurant, go and visit it. It's really that good. Stay online and watch the next episode of The Salivating Surfer.